the sixth day of Christmas. It's December 30th. We're only a couple days away from the new year. Wow. So it's just been another rainy day around here, so I didn't go anywhere except we just got back from Target. We did drive up to get some things. Nathan, I don't even know what he got actually, but I got, you know, some of the essentials like champagne <laughs> and sparkling cider and some beer because we're going over to Nathan's sister's tomorrow. He and bo both of them want to bake some cheesecakes or something, so I'm tagging along. Uh, her whole family recently got tested actually around the same time we did because they have had a little bit of a they had a reason to get tested so we're all good there and then what else did we do oh right i put on my christmas nails finally um i was originally going to put these on for the actual weekend of christmas there's a little bit of glue there um but since i didn't end up going to visit my family. I didn't see the point in forcing off my, my blue nails. So I just kept those for Christmas and instead we got these for, for this weekend. Oh well. These are the Kiss brand and I definitely prefer the Impress brand. They're owned by the same company. Um, the Impress nails, the adhesive is already on the back side of the nail. So you just have to peel off the like cling film and adhere them to your nails. These ones, they give you two options. You can either do the adhesives or you can do the glue and I don't feel like doing the glue because it says like, caution, this will glue your eyes shut. And I'm like, that probably won't happen to me, but it could, so I don't mess with that. But yeah, I like them. They got, you know, Christmas trees on them and glitter, love glitter. really unclear yesterday so I'm sorry about that um, the bad news and I only put quotes around it because it, like it could be worse right um, so last week one of my siblings tested positive and then yesterday we found out um, that another one of my siblings who was actually quarantining separately so it's kind of interesting how it's shaken out um, was also testing positive so we decided or they kind of decided because they're all the ones up there that we wouldn't be doing a regular Christmas gathering this year unfortunately so that was the bad news um, both people who tested positive are vaccinated and boosted and so one had pretty mild symptoms and the other has not had symptoms at all so far so that's good like I said it could be worse could be better but um, I'm definitely grateful that um, things are going the way the way that they're going if they had to go this way at all so that's what's going on I was really tired and like very sad yesterday, so I didn't explain that very well at all. Anyway, today was Nathan's last work day of the year. He has tomorrow off, so like I said, we're going to his sister's to bake, and then we'll probably come back here and, ooh, this will be exciting. We're making pizza tomorrow from scratch, so that'll be nice. And then we'll just kick back and have a chill New Year's Eve. We never go out for New Year's Eve anyway. Nathan probably has at some point with friends. Um, I have always been the type to like go to a friend's house and just watch movies and count down to New Year's. I'm not a going out type on New Year's Eve. It's just too, uh, I don't know, just not my thing. So yeah, like I said, I got sparkling wine, so I'll be drinking that tomorrow. My, one of my sisters was supposed to stop by to drop off my Christmas gifts because she's headed down this way. Um, apparently she forgot to put them in the car. So that's fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not five years old. Like, Christmas is not about the gifts for me. But I just think that's really funny. Uh, there's a lot of hiccups with our Christmas this year that are not ideal. But, again, could be worse, right? <laughs> P.S. I have Christmas Tree Farm by Taylor Swift stuck in my head because I listened to it for like the second time yesterday and then I listened to it on repeat 
and I'm not much for Christmas music, but for some reason when Taylor Swift writes Christmas music, I like it. But that's stuck in my head now. Which is slightly annoying. I almost forgot, last week when I went to Michael's to get some other things, because I was right next door to get an oil change, I impulse bought this. It's like four watercolor painting canvases, and I mainly got it because of this calico wearing a Santa hat, but I wonder when we'll actually do these. I know it's way after the first day of Christmas, but they're fun. My after dinner treat is gonna be the last gingerbread cat and some Christmas chocolate. I am very excited about these.